Yes, good evening. You can see there's still a perimeter set up in the neighborhood with police officers as well. And we spoke with the Becerra family and they're traumatized. They say they do not have a permanent place to live. And we have to warn you, some of the images in the story are very graphic. It was a disaster, emotional disaster for all my family. Jose Becerra is still haunted by the massive explosion that rocked his South L.A. neighborhood nearly one week ago, injuring 17 people, including himself and four of his family members. The explosion damaging homes and cars, leaving neighbors disoriented and desperate for help. I protect my family all the time. And suddenly, I'm not able to do it. No emotional, no physical, no financial. But before the disaster, Becerra says police knocked on their door that morning. They say they found some illegal fireworks in the neighbor house. Police seized the illegal fireworks, and Becerra says officers told him to stay indoors while they detonate the fireworks safely. Because he said he's going to be safe for us. So we say, okay, we want to be here. Nine family members were in the house at the time when LAPD detonated the fireworks. Police believing it would be easier to do it there instead of transporting the fireworks. But it was a catastrophic failure. Glass everywhere. My family is screaming. Uh, I can't hear nothing because the person was really, really big. And I see my wife in the floor with a lot of blood. Becerra says he suffered cuts and scrapes. His aunt and uncle had face fractures and concussions, and his wife's eardrum ruptured, along with severe facial injuries. And on top of that... But the house is destroyed. The, the four bedroom, they are destroyed. The living room, they are destroyed. The family is displaced. We're living right now, not even day by day. I'm going to tell you, we're living hour by hour. And now, Becerra, his family, and the South L.A. community are demanding accountability after their lives were upended suddenly. I don't want to blame, but somebody have to have take responsibility of what happened. That's the only thing that I want. The Red Cross is helping the family with food and clothing, and a nonprofit organization is helping the family with the motel costs, but the family still needs a lot of help. They have medical expenses, among other expenses. Now, they do have a GoFundMe page, and we have all the information on our website. Reporting live this evening, I'm Coco McAvoy, Fox 11 News.